Hey folks, welcome back to Tech Gooch. I have another iPhone 10 screen protector for you. This is another glass one, uh, but it is actually from a company called AllClap. Um, it is a 3D screen protector as you see here. It actually has a black casing around it. 3D screen protectors, basically what they have is a rounded edge on them so that you don't have a sharp edge on the side. So it actually feels like it's rolling around the phone. Um, they can be a little different putting on, but we're going to find out about this one specifically. Uh, so with that said, they do, it does come in a two pack. So if you mess up or if nothing else, if you have one, it scratches after a while and you want to replace it, you do have a second backup one and for 10 bucks, it's going to be hard to beat that price. Um, I just have a little towel here just so I don't scratch the back of my phone while I'm doing this. But, uh, we're going to actually bring the video in, um, all the installation guidelines, uh, each in, they come with two packs of insulation tools or one for each screen protector that are that is included um, Take that place that there and uh, let's bring it in and then we'll uh, we'll start cleaning it and putting it on So of course everybody has kind of their own method, but uh, Method to the madness This is what comes with it Let's see here Anything else in there? Nope. Yep. No screen cleaning cloth as well. I like to use this guy first, get as much of the stuff off, and then uh, get that the instruction booklet that they say uh, clean hands stick two hinges. Oh, look at that. I see how they're doing it. So, what they recommend these hinge ones here, what you do is you actually line this up the best you can, just like so. Then we use these guide hinge stickers to actually let's give it a try why not I've never used it like that and this is the bad thing about the iPhone 10 if you've never done one of these installs you're gonna want to actually have the screen on to actually be able to see where the screen actually is uh, we're gonna stick that sticker around that there's kind of a, a hinge for that we're going to do another one here, so making sure that it's still good. Pin back on. It's pretty good right there, I think. So they say put a hinge sticker like that, and then use the third one. It's kind of the lifting tool, so we got that, and then we have a hinge. Now we actually clean the screen good. So we have a wet cleaning wipe and a dry cleaning wipe. There's the wet cleaning wipe, which is gonna get not only all the stuff that's stuck to the screen, but any fingerprint residue like oils off your skin, stuff like that. This is gonna remove all that. We're trying to get it as clean as possible so we get the best adhesion possible. Now in the end, you'll always have a hair or a piece of dust somewhere on there. That's what that last sticker, the dust sticker is for. They have a dry cleaning wipe, which I'm gonna use now as well. This is the hard part, because you actually wanna have the, sc the screen off to see any of the dust, but then you want the screen on to make sure you line up. And that's the hard thing about the 10. That's why the 10 tends to be one of the harder ones to install a screen protector on, at least in my opinion. <clears throat> so then we take the dust tool, go around any dust particles, and the 10 does turn itself back on just by touching the screen. Sorry if I'm not talking very much because I'm trying not to move the air around too much. All right, give that off to the side. Take the adhesion side of the plate off. Turn the screen on. And we'll see real quick how this method works. Oh, come on. Mwah. You know, that hinge method, I gotta give him props on that. That actually works pretty good. 
Maybe I spoke too soon. We'll see here. Uh, I think I may have something in there. I do have something in there. I didn't see it or... Yeah, it's de there's definitely something underneath. Well, you know what? That aside. That, aside from that one little dot. The only downside is because when you pull that plastic off and you're lifting this back over, something could actually roll down in, on your screen. That must have been I didn't see it. That said, though, let's... Because that's my goof up. That's not the screen protector's fault that there's a gigantic roll of dust right there. Take my guides off. I always have a lot of screen protectors. So, see how responsive it is. Boy, it fits perfectly. It looks really good. Black edge there is actually not my phone. It's actually the edge of the screen protector. Uh, but it actually is marched almost perfectly with the edge of the screen. The only bad spot is being my little dot of dust oh well my bad feels really good covers up the camera let's uh i uh looks like the 3d cameras are working fine for recognizing me but all in all pretty awesome screen protector so you can't win them all especially when you're trying to do things on camera hey eh, what it is um so aside from my piece of dust i like it i like it a lot uh the last 3d screen protector i used actually the didn't want to stick in the corners. This one sticks 100% all the way around. I like it a lot. It feels really good. feels better than most screen protectors because you go out edge to edge with it. Um, let me grab a case real quick, see how she works with the case. So this is my Melco case that I've been using uh, a lot recently because I really like the feel of it. Um, yeah, it, it works really good. It actually blends real good with the edge of the case. Does not try lifting it up. Now I can't say it speak for every case in existence. But that's pretty awesome. I really like it. Uh, I like the clean black edge on it. I like that it covers the the 3D sensor camera alignment uh, fully all the way around, which I do like because a lot of the cases that actually have the cutout for the 3D camera, that then you allows that to get scratched or stuff like that. So um, pretty awesome. I, I have to give them credit. So I will, like I said, I will put links where you can buy this. It is a two pack for 10 bucks. It's hard to beat. And it feels really good with that 3D, um, rounded edge on it so i highly recommend it i really do uh and if you mess up like i did you have a second one in the box to reapply so that's probably what i'm gonna do next but that said guys check them out check out the link if you have any questions comment below subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed hey why don't you give us a try that way you can get uh up to date on all the future videos we have coming out share the video like the video check us out at the and basically tech everywhere else so thanks again for watching guys we'll see you on a future video